Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to a LEGO Mock Showcase video. This is quite the something. Has anybody here ever played Mario Party 8? If you have, have you ever played the board game Shy Guys Perplex Express? Every so often me and the family go on the Wii and yeah, we still have one. And we play Mario Party 8 and the board we always go to is Shy Guys Perplex Express. We've had a few problems with our old system, so I decided to make a proper physical one. Look at this! We have a train, all the carriages, this isn't exactly accurate, but then again I could personalise this because this is a physical copy. So this is actually quite cool, I actually really love this, we played a game not too long ago, and it was great fun, I'm, gonna go, I'm going to be tweaking this to make it more up to date, make it a little bit better, more fun for us to play with. But yeah, this is actually something I wanted to share with you. The carriages are nothing special. If I just grab this one, you can tell they're on track to stop it from falling over. And on the back as well, there's these supports. Now, if you've played the game, you will know that you have to go this way through the carriages. And then after you get to the train, you go up the top on the roof and you can go back this way and kind of loop around like that. There are a fair whack of spaces. Of course, each color has its own representation. I have a bunch of cards behind me which do certain things to help improve the physical version of this game but I'm not going to go through them because they are not Lego and they are very boring basically. There's a lot of them as well so I'm not going to waste my time with that. I want to spend this video focusing on just the Lego. So we got all five of the carriages which is pretty good. We also have the train which I think most people give a shit about. This was a very quick cheap build. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, this is a 644 using XXL disc wheels. It looks very nice indeed. The cab is open, of course, for the playability of this. It's very cool as well. The yellow 4x4, well, there's not actually a 4x4. There's two 2x4 two tiles put together. But that represents the collection of a star, which is very good. I've got some grey wheels down here because I had loads of those left over. And the best thing about this is the interchangeable boiler. So... If you've played this game, you will know that there are Donkey Kong and Bowser spaces. They are the same space, basically. And in the game, if you were to land on a DK space, the train would move forward, go off screen, and the DK train would back into, space, uh, back into that space and kind of take over. And the same would go for Bowser. Now, I didn't want to build the same train three times, so instead I made it to be an interchangeable boiler. The black boiler represents you having to buy the star for 20 coins. The red boiler is for Donkey Kong. The boiler for the DK train is actually a wooden brown barrel sort of boiler, which is very cool. But I can't actually represent that accurately, so I just made something in red. And of course, green for Bowser, because Bowser's train looks absolutely incredible. That is a build I would love to see someone do one day. But yes, that is the system I've come up with here. This isn't articulated in any way. This doesn't work on points or corners. If I put this on a straight piece of track, it would fit, obviously, and work very well. But, again, it's a cheap build. There's nothing special going on with this. But I absolutely love it. Oh, yeah, one thing I've got over here. Of course, there is a starting area for each of the boards. And this is the caboose, so to say. So you've got the five coaches there, and this will go on the back. It's a very simple build and it's actually quite accurate for what is in the game. It's just two long stands, a simple platform, a few wheels, and that's it. That's really it. On this side there will be a ladder, but we don't have any sort of representation of that because it's a physical card, um, a physical board game. You can just move the minifigure appropriately. So I haven't done that, but still very happy with that look. And there's this thing. So this is a representation of Payday Station. There is a golden space on each Mario board, which takes, you, uh, which takes you to a location where you can acquire a free star. And this is that representation. It's a big base plate, which is knockoff Lego, but it works perfectly. And yeah, you can basically see what this is. A bunch of positive spaces and the free star representation at the end. Again, both of them have been marked with minifigures, which is good because it's putting them to use and... Again, it's more of a visual thing, really. But yeah, that is Shy Guys Perplex Express. Oh god, I'm knocking things over. That is Shy Guys Perplex Express all set up. We've played some games and we've enjoyed it all. 
This is honestly one of the best things I've ever made. This has been a lot of fun to put together, it's been a lot of fun to play with, and yeah, when the family come home tonight, I'm going to see if I can convince them for another one. So yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this, thank you all ever so much for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, I will see you all in the next episode, bye!